Well, hello there, Cancer. It is so good to see you. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your Saturn Transits Pisces reading. So Saturn entered Pisces March 7th and will stay there for the next three years until February 2026. So um, the last three years, Saturn has been in your eighth house of shared resources, sex, and death. Um, and so you could have experienced roadblocks <laughs> um, in joint accounts, uh, relationships that you had shared resources with, or even partnerships like business partnerships and that type of thing. Um, the next three years, it's going to be in your ninth house of intellect and higher learning um, and spiritual pursuit. So um, understanding that over the next three years, you are going to be building structure, organization, taking more responsibility in those areas um, and understanding what you have to share with the world and how vital and valuable that is. So um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, the last three years very quickly and then we'll take a look at what Saturn is going to help you to bring responsibility and structure into your ninth house during these next three years. How karma, because Saturn is uh, uh, also rules karma, how karma will come into play play in the next three years. And finally, where you will be your outcome in three years from now. So let's start with your overall energy, Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery and vast vistas expand your horizons. Uh, I honestly feel like for a lot of you, you are moving. There is this sense of understanding that where you are right now is not where you truly want to be. It's understanding. It's kind of like and you know, it's with these vast vistas, okay, it's understanding that when you look out <laughs> three years from now, okay, there is this strong sense that I don't want to be where I am. I want out of this box. So some of you could be in relationships because you came out of the eighth house here, right? So you could be, you know, coming out of a marriage, coming out of a business partnership, understanding, okay, how those shared resources may need to be divided or something. Or you could be thinking about leaving a, a partnership or a relationship, um, understanding the impact that may, that may have on your future. And yet at the same time, it's kind of like, yes, but I have to move forward. Um, for some of you, you could have over the last three years tried to get your shared resources in a very good spot, right? Um, and that would even include like inheritances or, you know, um, the eighth house is really about also, you know, our sense of mortality, understanding that life isn't, we're we're not going to be here forever. You could have even gone through a little bit of a midlife crisis, kind of um, understanding, okay, there, there's more to life than what I'm doing on a daily basis. There's something else that I want to create or to experience. And that is playing into now as you are moving into your ninth house, understanding there's something bigger that I want to learn. There's something more valuable that I want to share with the world and understanding how vital that is to you, to your soul's path. Okay, so we're going to take a look here and see. Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. Really beautiful. Yeah, I, I truly feel like so many of you are moving into a, a new, really almost like moving. There is this big sense of moving and and not just a small move <laughs> like across the street or within the same city is really the sense of moving. And moving can mean a lot of different things. It could be physically moving, but mentally, emotionally, spiritually, moving in some sets, moving in your mindset, right? This is also your house of, you know, spiritual pursuits. Um, for some of you, maybe you're deciding to wander to not actually have like a physical home, you know, maybe living, you know, in a camper or something like that, or traveling the world, understanding, okay, wait a minute, you know, um, I'm no longer going to be in this box. For some of you, you could be leaving the box of, you know, a nine to five job, um, wanting to perhaps kind of like start an internet business or something like that. You are becoming a teacher. 
Look at this. A teacher is on the bottom. Um, stepping into that energy of knowing that what you have learned, especially over these last three years, but I also am going to say since 2009, okay, when Saturn would have been in your third house, okay? <laughs> so your third house is creativity, right? So understanding that what you went through uh, in 2009 to 2012, those lessons are coming back into play now that you are kind of understanding uh, um, where it is that you really want to go. Look at this three of pentacles on the bottom, you know, finding um, achievement in your in your work, but learning how to work with others in a new and exciting way. And work with others does not mean that you're physically working with others. Once again, there's this sense of the internet or being able to travel, being able to come into contact with more people through your work or through your spiritual adventures. Um, okay, so let's first take a look at the last three years. So this would have been any roadblocks um, or give and take needed in joint accounts or partnerships, okay? Um, I feel like you, you kind of, you know, have been a little bit maybe, I want to, they're saying the ringer, <laughs> kind of like been through the ringer the last three years in this energy, you know, where there's something that you want to do, but there's a partner or a committed relationship, right? somebody else that, that wants something else and, and look you're kind of like going in two different directions so you weren't on the same path the last three years or you know you had just different mindsets and so it caused a lot of conflict in your relationship whether you know you were actually verbalizing this or not okay or they were verbalizing this or not it, it's kind of like the two of you may not have been talking about it. And yet at the same time, it was playing into your, your life in a big way. So it's understanding that through that you have learned, um, you had to have patience. Okay. That to honor your path, to honor what it is that you want for yourself. Um, you know, for some of you, because this is all also about inheritance, it could have been kind of like almost a sense of, you know, you could have had other like siblings or something that were coming into play um, and, and almost like having to watch your back, a, a little bit of watch your back with perhaps a sibling or something when it came to... Um, like inheritance or your relationship with your parents are really interesting energy. That's not going to be for all of you, but that is kind of an interesting energy coming in. Understanding that when you stay aligned to your path, okay, and you have healthy boundaries when it comes to your shared resources, that you will have what it is that you want for yourself. And I feel like that was a big part of the last three years, understanding that sometimes you can't take action. We have patience and we have yin. Sometimes we have to just allow things to kind of work out, but also kind of like building those healthy boundaries and protecting what we have. I feel like some of you have not yet taken action, okay? You've kind of understood. You've built a, an energy around yourself so that you know what you want with your shared resources. But there's also an energy some of you may not have actually taken action on that. But there is this sense that it is part of your thinking when you are taking action. Huh. Yes, the moon card's coming out. Pisces energy. Yeah, I think intuitively, no, something has to come to an end. If you have, you know, this is a general reading. So if you have not brought either a committed relationship or a partnership to an end, you know, it could be like a business partnership or a, a client um, partnership, you know, client um, type of energy. There's something here that has to come to an end. You intuitively know it, but you're fearing it. You're fearing that this end is near, but you also know that it brings in this hope for your heart to have what it truly wants. Yeah. So let's take a look at these next three years. Um, once again, you're moving into the ninth house of intellect and higher um, learning and spiritual pursuits. So you have, look at this. Yeah, so coming out of this energy with shared resources and then you have family and no place like home. 
is, you know, understanding that you are building healthier boundaries in your home life, okay, that will also help you with your spiritual pursuits, what it is that you are wanting. Like, I feel like you're kind of stepping out of the box of what it is that you are in at this same time. This is playing on your mind in <laughs> Cancer. You are very much uh, connected to your family, but it's almost as if you have to step out of the box that you have put yourself in, okay? You have to step out of this box, okay? Now, I'm not saying that other circumstances haven't helped to, to put you into that box, but realizing that you were in that box because you allow yourself to be in that box and understanding that if you want out of the box, okay, how is that going to impact the people that are closest to you? When you go out into this new direction, how is that perhaps going to help the people that either financially, emotionally, mentally, spiritually also um, you know, kind of depend on you, are part of your life. You, you, I think you're walking away in hopes of something new, perhaps a new romantic relationship with the Ace of Cups, a new partnership, okay? But definitely something that is more in alignment with what your heart wants. I feel like you feel this box is a square. You see how it's a square box, right? There's, it, you're looking for the heart shape, <laughs> and this is all linear. And you're looking for something that is much more like heart-shaped, rounded, loving. Really, um, a, a really interesting energy in the fact that I feel like you're shared resources, okay? You could have put a lot of time and energy into trying to build healthier boundaries in your shared resources, but also uh, this, that, and this energy was playing out. Whether you realized it or not, I think subconsciously, you were preparing for this vast vista. You know, the last three years when you were putting in those healthy boundaries in your shared resources, um, you kind of knew that maybe you weren't going to be around, you know, that you were going to go um, looking for something new, something that is more in alignment with what it is that you want to do. Let's see. Yeah, you're just, you're showing up in your own reading, taking action, stepping into your truth, sharing your truth, right? And moving forward very quickly. So this is the area you're supposed to bring your structure to. Your structure is, I feel like making, there is a little bit of before you go, right? There is a little bit of before you go, closing out this energy, making Making, um, there's a little bit of not leaving, like uh, turning uh, turning and just leaving. There is something about um, providing, whether that's financially, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, like allowing this energy to feel good about the way that you are leaving. Really um, beautiful because, you know, that kind of could have come into play when you were in your third house back in 2009, 2012, somebody could have left. Somebody could have made a big change at that time. It could be even that if you got married during that time, that relationship is changing, right? Is truly changing. For some of you, you could be entering, having children, or you could be wanting out of a relationship that maybe you started at that time and going in a new direction. Hmm, really, um, it, it's a sense of because Saturn is going to want you to have structure with this. It is, once again, don't let this just be a whim. Putting th plans into action, having structure to it, holding yourself accountable um, for the people or the situations that you are leaving behind. Um and I, and I really like that because I think for some of you, you have been thinking about this for a while. And once again, I think subconsciously, at least, you may have been planning for this and now you're taking, you're taking action on it. So let's see where karma is going to play out. So karma is really all about accountability, holding yourself accountable for your own actions. Um, and once again, that energy of, you know, 2009 to 2012, when Saturn was in your third house, 
you could have understood the impact, okay? What you, the lessons that you learned during that time are now going to come back into play in this. Doesn't mean that same situation is going to happen, but it's something similar. Um, and so we have the Empress energy. For some of you, this could have something to do with either children, your children, or your parents, okay? Specifically, maybe your mother. It's this energy of understanding, oh, what I went through in 2009, 2012, perhaps with a parent or a child, um, or maybe with somebody that was really close to you was going through with either a parent or a child is now coming back into play. It's kind of interesting. If you had a child, okay, in like 2009, 2012, between those years, um, uh, let's see, they, they would be coming into being about 12 or 13 years old. They're coming into being a teenager because they, <laughs> they were like, yeah, payback, <laughs> payback. So if you were a uh, easy teen, then it is going to be that your teenager now is going to be an easy teen for you. If you were not an easy teen for your parents, you are going to uh, kind of understand what they went through <laughs> with you. That's kind of an interesting message. And once again, that won't play out for all of you, but it is kind of an interesting message coming in. All right, so you have um, angel of love and a creative endeavor. There's something that is really near and dear to your heart that you want to do, something that you want to create, okay? Perhaps start a new business based on something that is near and dear to your heart. So once again, you could have been in a career that was kind Kind of like a box that you were put in um or something like that you know a, a nine to five job or something like that and now you're kind of like okay wait a minute that doesn't you know i went that route i have done that but your accountability to yourself is asking yourself is this the box that you want to be in or do you want out of the box do you want to go wander do you want to go create something um, have a job that perhaps or a career that really isn't in a box, you know, maybe even um, you could have been in a box, you know, and you had like, you know, you were a teacher, you were an accountant, or you were, you know, a, a car salesman, right? There, there was like this certain title that with, with your job, you know, your job or your career. And now it's kind of like stepping into this energy of creating something that is totally new. So there's not like a job description is what I'm trying to get at, right? Kind of coming up with your own job description, your job title, understanding you're creating something totally new. And I feel like, you know, this is a fork in the road, but it's about being accountable to yourself, uh, building that karma, right? Understanding that the only person that is preventing you from doing this is yourself. Understanding that, you know, when these opportunities come in for you, to to share your your vision okay what you share with the world is vital and valuable if you're choosing not to do that what will that bring for your karma you know understanding that when the world brings you this opportunity it's time to take it wow and i feel like you are doing it you know the the tower is coming in understanding okay the box has got to go i have to go in a new direction i have to go after what my heart desires and then you know walking away from something but look at this you have the king of pentacles you know being able to financially support yourself it could be that the tower is that epiphany that i don't have to have a job that has a label on it, <laughs> right? Or where I work in a cubicle or I work in an office, right? I don't have to have that in order to be financially secure. I can go after, you know, what it is that I want. I can take my laptop and travel the world and, you know, experience a lot of different things and still be able to work and support myself. Okay, so where is this leading in three years? This is a beautiful transit. There, I feel like there is just so much 
growth and excitement for your, for you, Cancer, over the next three years. I'm really excited for you. All right, the thinking man. I think you're putting down your thinking cap. <laughs> you're saying, I'm not, I, it's not that you're not thinking about it, right? Because there is planning and action that is going to be required. But it's kind of like, I'm not going to get caught up in my head and come up with one reason after another why I can't go after what it is that I want. You know, it's kind of like I'm looking in the Ashoka records that's the Y card I'm looking at all the wisdom I have gained in this lifetime and also in past lifetimes and understanding I am confident that I can create okay these new um uh new supportive connections. I can bring them in when I'm in my power, right? When I am feeling confident about myself, I will attract in those people that will help me to be successful, to bring in what it is that I am truly wanting for myself. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify this. This is beautiful. Queen of Cups, justice. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you're bringing you're bringing balance, you're bringing justice, okay, back to something that you really wanted to do, perhaps as a child, you know, nine of cups, understanding, okay, you know what, I always, I always wanted to be a musician, right, and because we have a, a musical instrument here, but, you know, my parents and guidance counselor and teachers told me, no, you have to go, um, you know, um, be a, a teacher. <laughs> I was a teacher. Uh, you have to go be a teacher, you know? And now what you're recognizing is maybe you even compromised and you became a music teacher, right? You, you compromised. You were like, okay, I'll be a music teacher. But now you're understanding. No, what I really want to be is a musician. I want to compose music. I want to share my music with people all over the world, right? I want to step into this energy of sharing my love and light through music, however that might play out. So I have to step out of the box of being the teacher and go really after what it is that I want for myself. Wow, really beautiful energy. Um, for some of you, you could be going back to school, right? To learn more about music <laughs> or whatever it is that you're wanting to pursue understanding that that will even bring you more wisdom in this area more for you to share with the world all right let's take a look at your soul truth card and cancer i do do personal reading so if you're interested the link is in the description box below i'd really be honored to do a reading for you how can i infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life if your compassion does not include yourself it is incomplete okay so the message i got there um when i was reading that is that you may have kind of once again kind of like compromised instead of just you know, instead of totally giving up on your music, you could have, um, you know, had your nine to five job and then you were playing in a band, okay, on the weekends or something like that. Um, or you could have become a music teacher, right? And now what you're understanding is, okay, I've been doing that because I had a family to support or there were people that were counting on me or this is something I was trying to bring into my life. But now understanding, okay, wait a minute, there's my heart is really and truly calling me to, to put more time and energy education into my music and moving towards that in a very loving way and not... Not walking away from people or obligations, right? Understanding, okay, I may have to keep them in mind, but at the same time, bringing the structure into your own life so that you have more time and energy, more compassion for your for what it is that you want to create, giving yourself that time, that love to go and wander <laughs> and to do your um, what it is that your heart is truly seeking to do. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Cancer. I really appreciate all of your support through liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.